thanks to Quantum Fiber, your world unleashed. And real quick, I talked over Hawk talking about this band a couple weeks ago, and they were not happy. Cause for concern, it's Voodoo Birth, local music on the Power Trip Morning Show. Well, why'd you talk Love over them? I uh, can't remember what it was about. Had to be important. Kind of hot, though. Sauce, you've seen a lot of videos that have this kind of a sound, right? <laughs> Digging the vibe, yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Um, let's see here. It's got a Pink Floyd bass line. I did order yeah. that pizza, thank you. Like looking for a door <laughs> ring. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's good, yeah. What the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh. What? I don't know. He's... The pizza's here. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh. That was oh, Your husband's that not was... home? We got there. Uh, it... We got there. It's quip. I, it's they didn't have a sound quip. of a dryer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is there a running sink in there no. somewhere? All right, let's do Fan 5. Let's talk to Rosie about some stuff we haven't discussed yet. It's time yet. for Fan 5. Oops. Brought to you by Builders and Remodelers. Hey, thanks, Builders and Remodelers. All right, what have we not talked about with Rosie at all? Uh, let's start with the Masters. Okay. Uh, the ratings, pretty big dip. Yeah. DIP, Mark Rosen, uh, down 20% from last year. Last year, Rom won. This year, Scheffler won. The, the gap was the same. It was a four-shot victory both years. Uh, golf events, though, across the board, down about 20%. And Rory McIlroy earlier this month said, quote, that's big. 20% is a pretty jarring number. So a two-part question that we asked an hour sure. ago. Um, how much of this has to do with just live slash PGA tour and how much of this has to do with the personality of Scotty Scheffler? Are you concerned that if he kicks ass for the next five right. to seven years, that he's not dynamic enough of a personality, despite being clearly were, the world's best golfer, were those ratings directly associated with the masters or just in general? Both. So okay. the masters ratings are down 20%, but, uh, but Rory says almost across the board, every event is down about 20%, yeah, which, which does, I think there's a combination of those things. First of all, the masters, had the bad start because of the weather. Good so point. That was yeah. that was disrupting for people who have their normal viewing habits. Even uh, and and part of it is honestly, I, I mean, we were in Vegas, but I mean, to having access, the Masters is still haughty enough. They don't have all eighteen holes of coverage right this away. Is specifically, by the way, the twenty percent drop and, is just for Sunday's final round. Okay, well that yes, because even wow. uh, I, I I think I don't, I don't know if uh, Brett was talking about that. I was watching it at Tom's Watch Bar with some friends, and I was like, I was out after 12 holes. It was over. I mean, there was, uh, there were, there were no challenges to Scheffler, who's a robot out there, and one of the most amazing golfers of our time. I mean, he is clearly so far ahead, but you know, he does it without cracking a smile, without engaging with the with the the patrons, with the with the gallery. He is who he is. You can't change his personality. You can't make him tiger like. You can't make him Rory like. You can't make him like. So without you know, golf's had a problem with personalities uh, for quite a while. For the most part, I mean, if you know, I mean, I would say that Ron Kepka's not. Uh, Brooks Kepka is stern looking most of the time. Looks like he just wants to flip people off most of the time, <laughs> and he's just you know kind of just goes about his business. So. I think it's a combination of things, but I think the live thing has definitely disrupted it. And going forward, in particular, uh, golf has a has a mess on its hands because unless they somehow figure it out, this was our only opportunity to see all of the best players in the world uh, compete. And then mm. we're going to have another one with the PGA coming up. Yeah, in a month. In a month, that's I mean, they're just the majors is it. So I don't know what the solution is, but Scheffler. Uh, is clearly a, a cut above, and there were more people, you know, more interested. It seemed like in Tiger making the cut when we were out there. Like my God, Tiger made the cut over so and so and so and so, and he battled through the worst possible weather conditions. And at his age and his physical condition, and still had better scores than, and they, they had a whole list of of really good players. Yeah, that he beat at the halfway point, and and that was pretty amazing. But you know, you can only show Tiger so much when you're not when he's not really going to contend anymore. And they so, showed him a lot. Yeah, I mean, they have they. I think it's a combination, they Corey. Yeah, yeah, they have to. Because I mean, he's still the biggest draw they have. They yeah. know what they're doing, and yeah. and they know that personalities, as we see with Caitlin Clark, the athletes and their who they are 
is the biggest draw. That is what to, that, that's going to change the WNBA with Caitlin Clark, uh, with Angel Reese, with all the, these these people that you know their names. That's a big problem that that hockey's had over the years with the lack of, of personalities. And so mm -hmm. these and, these and baseball these, these, they, yes has them be able to capitalize correct and, and market those personalities even when they have big personalities. Baseball, I think, does the worst job of marketing their players. Um, but yeah, I think it's a combination of things, and it's it's a it's a it's a direct shot to the uh, the head of uh, the what's his name Monahan. Who's the head of the PGA right now? Uh, is it Monahan? It's I Monahan. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, they they got to figure it out because it's. Uh, I mean, they need they need the Rory McIlroys. They need they need people with personalities to start emerging. But Scotty Scheffler is not going away. He's just going to. He's so good at what he does and uh there's not there was no drama on sunday everyone's in particular cbs they're looking for drama on, on, on around amen, amen corner and there was none to be had once Oberg put the ball in the water that it was, was over. it yeah it was and over. that kid's got some personality but he it's does. not like yeah. ludwig uh Oberg yeah. is gonna, who is he uh, it's yeah. gonna light up the uh, the ratings because no. nobody knows who he is yet but did you see him get his like his uh, power bars like book bashed accidentally, yeah, and he just yeah. smiled it off. Yeah, that was then cool. He ate a sandwich. Yeah, he was eating. He was smiling and having fun. And that kid seems fun, but exactly that's when I'm talking about getting ratings well, up. No one's asking for a 24 year old Swedish kid to. But Scheffler to do needs it. Uh, Mark. You know this. Scheffler needs his. Uh, he needs someone to compete against him. He needs. He yeah. needs a rivalry. There's no yeah. rivalry. If well, you don't it's, have a it's rivalry when he's playing well. They need the DJ Kepka rivalry. I mean, remember how yeah. electric it I was. I like that DJ, by the way. <laughs> but there's the problem without Rom on the on the tour anymore. You don't see him except for the majors. You're not exactly. going to have it. And Scotty Scheffler is plus four fifty to win the PJ Championship. Already, yep. well, That's, which is insane. Yeah. He was yeah, like four hundred or so and, to win the Masters. Yeah. It's just sick. And let me just take it back for a second to defend my sport, Zach. Uh, there are plenty of pers personalities in the NHL, and there always have been. Yeah, take there, that, there's Zach. Been, there's been a l couple generations here and there, of course, that uh, that have been worrisome. Uh, but uh, the one thing, it's always been uh, a little bit underlying behind-the-scenes thought uh, with organizations, too. They, you only want to market so many guys because you only want to pay guys, you know, pay the certain guys, pay the superstars. When you start marketing to certain personalities for some guys, it brings their value up. It's, it's going to demand higher contracts, a little bit more money. And the NHL at any corner will just kind of try and snuff that stuff out, too. Mm. And also there's that culture of team first, and, yeah. which I understand, but, but it they, also limits the, the, the mass appeal because, as I said, it, it, it's all, you know, that's one thing the NBA has done well for the longest time. LeBron, James, Steph Curry, all these big names. Now they're being replaced by new ones here, so... Right. Uh, that's that, that's the reason why the ratings drop. And I don't know if it's something that we necessarily have to worry about because as long as the golf is good, as long as the Masters is going to be around, which they can obviously survive a 20% drop, forever. there will be, that's something for, for CBS to, I think, worry about in the future if they need to. But, um, yeah, as, as Rosie said, I mean, it's just, it's, uh, what do you, what do you do when you have a four or five shot lead for the last seven, eight holes? And he's mechanically just going through the motions. I mean, what I'm saying mm -hmm. is that there's no yeah. uh, a fist pump. Even the no celebration hole. was like, eh. yeah, like I, he, so, and I just can't wait to get out of here. Oh, actually, we, what we about that Hatton one. guy? I, 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 I he was Hatton. fun. Sweet. Yeah. yeah, he's fun to watch. Yeah, he meat sauces it. I, I do enjoy watching <laughs> Scotty Scheffler because he does remind me a little bit of Tiger the way he was his dominant Eos. But I just you need a fill. I, you need no, a I completely agree. He needs a rival. Like mm -hmm. there needs to be one. Like and the more of those, the better. Uh, right. But but that being said, like I truly like the appre appreciate the work that's gone into that. Like, I mean, oh, his his game is absolutely incredible. I mean, he just. The, you know, he makes up for so many mistakes. He makes so many great shots. He's chipping in left and right. I mean, it's just his overall game is just fun to watch him Flawless. play golf. Yeah. Brett, your right. hands up. Well, do you remember when Wyndham Clark missed that putt to send it to a playoff? That thing went viral because they were about to go to a playoff, mm -hmm. and it just rimmed out, and it felt oh, like yeah. that was a big, yeah, you know, and that it felt like a big moment. I remember seeing it all over social media because it was such a close battle, but then Scheffler won anyways. But, I mean, he's had moments where he's been contested, but other than there's that, not it's been one guy. Right. Yeah, there's not, like, one guy who's no, consistently no. there. And, 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 need... and those guys, getting back to Corey's original yeah. point, most of them are in, are in the live uh, tour right yeah. now. Uh, and that's, that's 
Well, in a couple of them, we need Kepka and Bryson to hate each other again. And yeah. Yeah. So it's fun. Best exactly. It makes it fun. And, and you know that carries over. If you hate something, yeah, you, 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 those emotions don't while, change but. when you're going to play in golf. You're just like, I'm just going to be a professional. Like, no, you're like, I'm going to try and beat that SOB yeah. every time. Right. I mean, the difference on Sunday was all the guys chasing Scheffler couldn't putt. Homa couldn't no, do it. No. Yeah. Oberg was only the, he, Oberg but, was the only one that was even yeah. remotely uh, putting well. Morikawa couldn't hit a putt. And he had plenty Bryson of opportunity. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Morikawa had plenty yeah. of opportunity. So did Homa. He shot himself in the foot. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that, the water hazards were. That'll do it. Big I did difference. like the damn it out of. Uh, Morikawa when he put it in the water. Just yes. Like, Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I finally, I love, a so, I love it when golfers oh. show that emotion. There's so many times I've yeah. said so many worse words going off the ice or snap yep. my stick over the board. It's not being able to control the emotions. Well, right. if you remember Thank that, God if you, you guys that have hole, that problem too. So Morikawa hit first and just hooked it left, right? Mm -hmm. And then put it in the water. And you remember what Scheffler did? Mm -hmm. He had the best shot. He ever. Went, stuck it. No, yeah. he went way to the right. And and I think the the uh, I think Nance and the crew basically said that's basically like saying I'm not going in the water no yeah. matter what mm -hmm. yeah I'd mm -hmm. rather just be off the green I'm like I cannot I can par from, right because yeah. now that Morikawa just dunked it in the water all I have to do is just get anything near a par here this three thing shot over. swing exactly right. so yeah. he just yeah. went he went right and said I'm not even going to flirt with the uh, the water kind of genius yeah safe strategy yeah man. But again, not not clinical, right? Just kind of boring. Like, oh god, just go for the cup. Let's go. Put it in there once. Yeah, get after it. Get after it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, speaking of this, one last thing because we talked about this earlier too. But Rosie, we haven't asked you. Uh, there was a report that Rory McIlroy had been offered eight hundred and fifty million <laughs> and two percent equity in the uh, Live Tour. His and agent 2%. says, "quote zero truth." He also said, "quote fake news." Right. Yeah. Uh, sorry. The, especially the two percent equity part. I like, like that. Come too. on. There's no <laughs> way he didn't turn that. Down. This, is, this sounds like somebody that watches Shark Tank. <laughs> <laughs> Plus two percent equity. Uh, John Rahm got uh, three hundred and fifty million in December, but the rumor was eight fifty for Rory, and Rory says he's never been offered a number from Live, and he's never contemplated going to Live. I, they wanted the big names. I mean, they went after Tiger. I watched a lot of sports over the years, including watching guys slap each other in Vegas the other night yeah. when people were betting on that it. That turned you on. That, no, it made me throw up. You almost said but, gag. Yeah, Dang you it. Did. Ah, you, I know. you almost <laughs> said that made me gag, and then right. you changed your mind at the last second. God dang it, Rosie. I get wise here once oh, in a while. Oh, man, that was so close. <laughs> uh, I know it. But um, where were we going with this? You were, were talking about gagging? No, we were talking about <laughs> slap fighting. No, we were talking about the sport you were talking about. The, uh, oh, live. I should live. Yeah. Yeah. Live is almost as unwatchable as that slapping contest I watch tonight. It just is. I mean, I'm watch, I have been to watch sucks. some of it. I go, I don't understand it's a, what's it's happening. It's like watching a charity golf tournament. Yeah, 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 that's well what said. it feels like. Well it's exactly yeah. what it felt like. And I go I'm to like, a lot of those. Yeah. So I don't need to watch one on TV. This is the format they... I, I, shotgun, techno music, three rounds, guys are... It's terrible. Know, they're playing there. Lim's they're playing terrible. like an exhibition because they all, they're all making... They yeah, don't they need don't the care. money. They literally couldn't care less. There's no, yeah. like, There's, they're Jesus, having guy, a ball. I'm, yeah. shocked, I'm shocked they don't let them have a beer out there while Correct. they're playing. Yeah, That'll sure. be next. Well, it should have been an and thing. It should have been, like, a big three type deal where they still do the PGA Tour for the most of the time, but maybe four yeah. or five, six weekends out of the year they go do this. you got to bring them back together. That's what's well, going to get this. Because then then you have all those storylines. Like that, that golf thing on Netflix, that could not be any more boring. It's just boring. They need those guys back well, together. I mean, somebody tweeted this and, and remind me, reminded me, too. There was a split in IndyCar for the longest time. Now, I won't go down the details there, but they had thank the God. Champ Car yeah, Series God. and the IndyCar Series, and it just did not work out. Eventually, they got back together, and now oh. IndyCar is going great. But that's that. it's happened in other places, and it's never worked having two major leagues for one mm. sport. Right. Sauce, what's the right. one thing? It's one word that can fix... Everything we just talked about in the last 15 minutes. Subterfuge? Nope. Hooves? No. <laughs> what can fix golf? Uh, pincers? <laughs> okay. Does he not, I'm not asking sarcastically. What's one word that can fix golf? Gambling. You nailed it. Gambling. That was the exact word. See, maybe I will draft you in password because gambling was the password. Yeah. <laughs> not pincers? Gambling. Uh, no. Uh, headlines next. Power Trip Morning Show with Rosie and Parrish on the van. The fan. I tell the 
Fan and BigDeck.com. Want to help put a grand in your hand? Listen weekdays for your shot to win. Hannah Storm and my new podcast, NBA DNA with Hannah Storm, digs deep into the history of professional basketball alongside my own as one of sports television's first female broadcasters. Now let's get you up to speed on what else happened around the NBA today. I'll talk to the legends of the game Dr. J. and those behind the scenes with some fantastic stories both on and off the court. Listen to NBA DNA with Hannah Storm on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Bank of America has powerful digital solutions for local and global businesses so you can make every move matter. Visit bankofamerica.com slash banking for business to learn more. Bank of America N.A. Copyright 2024. Hey, it's Garzy from Bumper to Bumper. Everyone's house is different, but they're all the same in one way. We've all got those places where the Wi-Fi just won't go. For you, maybe it's the attic. For us, it was the sunroom. Well, if you had wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity, you could worry less about these dead spots. Finally, with wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity, you get fast speeds throughout your home, reliable connection in every room, and power for all of your devices, even when everyone is online. That's wall-to-wall Wi-Fi only on the Xfinity 10G network. Get wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity for a reliable connection throughout your home. Now through June 21st, new customers can get started with gig speed internet for $25 a month for two years with no annual contract and free Wi-Fi equipment included when you add unlimited mobile. That's gig speed internet for $25 a month for two years with no annual contract and free Wi-Fi equipment included when you add unlimited mobile. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY or visit a store today. April showers bring wet basements. Standard Water Control is the waterproofing foundation repair and sump pump expert since 1977. Installation, service, and repair for all wet basement issues. Peace of mind starting at just $199. Visit standardwater.com for details. Standardwater.com. Hey, you. Yeah, you. You need a little pick-me-up? Then head over to Holiday and get your Red Bull fix. Buy two Red Bull 8.4 ounce and get one free. Mix and match your favorites. It's the perfect way to get your wings today at Holiday. Is logistics on your mind? Does your business have freight that you need to move fast and efficiently? Well, let Evans Transportation take care of that for you. Ben Lieber here for my friends at Evans Transportation. So Evans will look at your current supply chain situation, evaluate it, optimize it, and build you a unique custom software solution. They call this the Evans Experience, or the EX. It's all about taking care of their customers and work to make your life easier so you can focus on running your company. Keep your business moving forward with Evans Transportation. Find them at evanstrans.com. That's evanstrans.com. Meat Sauce here for my amazing friends at Window Nation and windownation.com. If you've cracked ugly windows, get them replaced immediately with my friends at Window Nation and windownation.com. You buy two windows, you get two free. Plus, you pay nothing, no interest, no nothing for two full years. It's the best deal in windows. It's the best deal of all time. When you walk around your house and you go, man, why is that window so ugly? Why is that cracked? Or You know, when it gets warm out in about a month and you turn that AC on and that AC bill's high, it's because you got air leaking out your windows. Don't do that. That is costing you money. You don't want your AC to overwork and then that break down and then you got even more problems on your hand. Get your ugly windows replaced now. And now if you bought a fixer upper, because now is the time people are buying homes and you need new windows, use window nation and window nation.com. If you're selling your home and you need to put in new windows, because maybe the people that inspected it said, we got to have new windows. Contact my friends at window nation and window nation.com. You get two free windows with every two you buy. Plus you pay no interest for two full years. Window nation.com. Love them. They're the absolute best window nation.com. You're free now. Free to stream beyond your wildest dreams. Free to be everything you imagine, and then some. That's how it feels to have Quantum Fiber. Your world unleashed. Learn more at quantumfiber.com. Limited availability. Service in select locations only. Hey, it's Meat Sauce from my great friends at Chill Boys and ChillBoys.com. Chill Boys makes the best undies I've ever had on. They're incredible. They're made from bamboo. They got everything you need to feel comfortable and feel like you got nothing on. Your boys will love them. And so will that gal in your life. Go to chillboys.com right now. Mention sauce 15. Put that in in the uh, keyword bit. 
You get 15% off right now at chillboys.com. They're a local company. I love the underwear at chillboys and chillboys.com. After the power trip, it's 9 to noon. We're kicking it off with guest Dane Moore and Wolves conversation. But then from Florio, unloading draft takes, a long segment with Viking safety Josh Metellus. Very heavy on the purple, and that's coming up at 9 right here on The Fan. The Miller Lite Vikings Draft Party is back at U.S. Bank Stadium on April 25th. Get your tickets now to party on the field while taking in the first round of the NFL Draft. Get your tickets today at vikings.com slash draft party. And tune in to your home for draft coverage, KFAN, each day leading up to the draft for chances to win your way in. Draft coverage on the fan is presented locally by Pep's Draft House Pizza. How long are you going to talk? All right, it's time for headlines. Brought to you by our friends. And now it's time for Headlines. River Electric. Thanks, Wolf River Electric. You can go solar. Mark Rosen with uh, Wolf River yes, you can. Electric. Good point. Go solar. Um, Rosie, I know you're a giant fan of the Naked Gun movies, right? Our buddy oh, Pat Proft and uh, that whole crew, right? It's just fantastic, right? I still watch them when they pop up on the, the old screen. Yep, hard to beat. Leslie, uh, Nielsen, Leslie Nielsen was so great. So good. Oh, my God. Well, the name Leslie Nielsen, of course, very close to Liam Neeson, and that's who's playing Frank Drebin in what? the news. Oh, yeah. That's that's not news. That part's not news. You haven't heard know, that yet? I honestly hadn't heard that. Yeah. Liam Neeson's Reboot. playing Frank Drebin. That's an interesting choice. I think it'll be good. Because he has special skills. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it'll it's be similar good. to the career yeah. arc of Leslie Nielsen, right? Serious actor, and then all of a sudden oh, turned to comedy. Well, uh, yeah, Leslie Nielsen, I don't think people realize what he was, kind of a matinee idol he was. He did play a lot of serious roles early in his mm-hmm. career, which most people, including myself, really weren't aware of until I went back and looked, watched some of his old movies. Right. But yeah. then he got into comedy. Liam Neeson, clearly oh, my God. super dramatic actor, going to get into comedy. Yeah. Well, the Priscilla Presley role has been cast. Hmm. My guess is you haven't seen this. I have not. No, obviously. I, I think I could give you a thousand never, guesses and you wouldn't guess same this. Same age demo or what? Uh, uh yeah, yeah. This lady 40s? is probably. No, I would say 30s? this lady is in her. F- I'm going to say 50. 50s. Let me look okay. it up quickly. Hang on. While Please you're say thinking. I'm- Nobody else hit. Let, let Rosie take a handful of guesses. Hang on. Oh, this I mean, lady a is a well-known person. She, that yeah. blonde gal from Twister. She is 56. I'm this lady. I'd oh. like to guess. Go I don't ahead, think Marty. I sound like that, do I? Go ahead. I no, no, go for it. Who'd you say? Jody Foster. Nope. Oh, it's got to be someone a little more. Um... Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, say it. You're right, though. Uh, rambunctious. Well, I don't I know if that's the know. word you were looking for. That uh, was not the word I was looking for. What word were you looking for? Voluptuous. That would be accurate. Um, Some high. Not, not a Drew Barrymore. You're getting closer. Really? Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know who it is. Go for it. Well, I don't. Want, I don't want you to. No, go. I, you're I'm, close, Rosie. You're on the right path. Keep going. You're almost there. Um. Hmm. Fifty-six. Pam Anderson. Pam Anderson. That's it. Rose. 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 That's Rose. That is Rose. correct. Pamela Anderson is going to play That's perfect. Jane Spencer. If they and go with the same names, but that is that is she. This she is happening. The, yeah, she's wow. going to play the love interest of Liam Neeson in the Naked that Gun is reboot. Perfect. She's great. She is great. Yeah, she is. That documentary is tough to watch, though. Yeah, it is. The documentary. It is. July. Good for her. July of next year. Oh, Naked Gun. Yeah. Happy to hear that. Man, that'll be great. I can't wait for that. Even though our guy doesn't have anything to do with it, and he's pissed about it. It sucks, yeah. Pat Prof kicks ass. Yeah, yeah, he's the best. Sure does. Uh, police in Chris Hockey's home state of Indiana uh, arrested an idiot who went more than 100 miles an hour on a motorcycle. Ooh. What? Do you think that's enough to make this segment or not? No, there's got to be something else. There's just something else. He was standing on the seat. Oh, my God. Dear God. Doing the evil evil bit. Police in Indiana arrested a guy who was going over 100 miles an hour while standing on the seat of a motorcycle. Mm. That don't make no sense. No, I couldn't do that at like 10 miles I mean, yeah, that's a lot of wind to be standing. He had to be holding on somewhere, I feel like. Maybe he was just but holding on way, the handlebars while standing well, on the seat. Well, that being said, I, I, I no. feel like that's you're more or less taking a shot at no longer living. Hmm. 
All right, everybody just want play to off along. yourself. There's right. easier ways. He was just maybe going for a really spectacular way. Maybe. Including the listeners. Ask yourself this either out loud or if you're carpooling. You guys can uh, take a guess in the car. Ready? All right. A man in Memphis was arrested on Monday after police said he attempted to rob a gas station with a blank. Hmm. Banana. I want to see who gets <laughs> the closest. Pretending it was a gun. Yeah. The Woody Allen bit almost. Yeah. Um, he attempted to rob a gas station with a blank. Uh, stick a dynamite. Machete. Uh, Pacers. Oh, oh, was he oh, showing? Oh, 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 what? Like Reggie Miller? Was he showing it? Or was Hooves. he like having this? I pocket believe this like, was oh, something pincers. he was showing, yes. Okay. Oh. Based on what it was, my guess is oh. you have to show it. His Otherwise, penis. it's oh, not worth was not his using. Um, what What's the first letter? Aww. All right, I can I can say that and not give it away. Uh, the first letter is an S. Scissors. Um, mm. Oh, a uh, socket wrench. A <laughs> socket <laughs> wrench. So- uh, a sandwich. A uh, <laughs> seashore. I don't know. Seashells. So no, far, seashell. no one's really close. Seashell right. from the, the Sally Seashore spot. I saw. Oh. Imagine you're standing behind the co- uh, the counter of a gas so station, good. and somebody comes up to you Saw's with something that starts with an S, yeah. and it is supposed to terrify you right. to, the smile. Point, to the point where you hand over oh, your money. Oh, a skull. Oh, good point. Not a bad guess, but you're yeah. not on the right path. Um, spine. Uh, okay, now what, you're getting what did, what, <laughs> Scorpion robbed the place? Sue. Sword. Sauce Sword. is the closest. Oh, what did he oh, say? A, a snake. snake. A spider. Snake a is snake. Oh, yeah. Dang everything. it. Take Tried everything. to rob a gas well, station by using, it was an animal. by using a live snake. Did it work? It would work for me. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right? Did it work? Take all of it. I'm out. Dear God, I have a I, family, I, man. I, I, Come on. <laughs> Uh, I would, yo, yep. Yeah. As soon as he opens the door, I'm headed to the office and yeah. locking the door. I, I, yeah. I, I, nope. Somebody else can handle that one. This yeah. headline is a question, and I just want you guys to respond in any way you want. Rosie, let's start with you. Okay. <laughs> oh, great. Here's Bart. the headline. Here's the headline. I don't have any context. <laughs> is Ozempic making women more fertile? Jeez. Oh, any thoughts? Uh, zero thoughts. Uh, I have no idea what the chemical reaction would be to uh, Ozempic and fertility. Is it just because they're getting pregnant more because they're thinner? <laughs> well, jeez, well, that's a that's a, uh, a quantum leap. Um, that got canceled. <laughs> it did. No idea. Well, the only two people that liked it were Dave Schwartz and Chris. There's no way yeah. Dave Schwartz liked it. Of course he did. With Osepic in the news so much. I mean, Why does he I, hate this, Zach? Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I have no idea. I don't know. That's a good question, though. Chemical reaction? I, 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 I don't know. Do. No. Are they having more swex? That's, that was well, my joke. That was that, my point. I was going to say. Listening. And that might be. <laughs> Maybe. Attraction helps. Doesn't yeah. hurt. Uh, an elephant was running loose in Butt, Montana. Oh, but yesterday after it temporarily escaped from a traveling circus that's video. in town. So again, just to clarify, that is a circus elephant, not a carnival <laughs> elephant. Okay. You might have learned that last Friday. Like that. Oh yeah, you don't well, need that's to be who like he that. is. You choose to be like that. Yeah, that's who he is. <laughs> oh, he so much much. Circus <laughs> elephants, Somebody... not carnival elephants. Yep. One of the headlines yep. I saw this morning was "Let's talk about the elephant in the road." That's a clever headline. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the elephant in the butt. <laughs> That's oh, even dear. more clever. I'm going to miss uh, you next week. You're <laughs> more clever this week. That's real How'd good. How'd they get sorry. the elephant back to the... They pushed. Hard. Oh, <laughs> Icky. <laughs> they pushed. <laughs> uh, Bavaria, Germany. Whatever. Uh, has banned marijuana at Oktoberfest. Way to go, Zach. <laughs> See, Europe's so, Zach. Europe is so backwards on weed. It's it's really incredible. Except for Amsterdam. And is that the, the pretzel like location? Bavaria? Yeah, Bavarian yeah. pretzels. Yeah. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Very cool. That's Why who doesn't pretzels? want pretzels when they're high? That's yes, right. yeah. correct. Yeah, buddy, buddy, yeah. buddy, 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 yeah. buddy. It's a By perfect. By the way, so uh, was it yesterday or Monday when I think it was Max asked. If you were going to get high, who at the fan is your dream smoke partner, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I said, well, I don't know if I would want to smoke with Zach or or, um, or uh, Zach or Max because it's like smoking with Snoop and Willie, right? It's like, Jesus, I can't, <laughs> I can't keep up with you guys. 
Paris is an obvious answer as well. But I thought about it more. I have the answer. Okay. It's Marnie Gellner. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Marnie yeah, is the yeah, answer. Yes. Right? Because... Laughing hysterically. Just, it's, one, just one invite. Yeah, because right. it's just... It's, it's the unknown. It's mm-hmm. No, it's not Parrish or Zach or, or Max. Those are the obvious answers. I, the, the dream one, then, is, yeah, is you, a spin-the-wheel scenario. That, 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 that you don't yeah. expect and probably has never. I don't think you'd like never. it. Mm-hmm. I don't think you'd like it. You, we, you don't think we would like what Marnie would be I don't like think high? You, I don't think you specifically would. <laughs> you would get bored. What? I would get really? bored being what? high? She would play all of her favorite country oh, you're music. Talking about singing. I would get bored with oh, Marnie yes. getting oh, high. Oh, yes. Yes. There we go. Yes. Marnie yes. was singing all her hits. She get would, ready for she suds would, in the bucket. She would say that she would play all a the Tiger lot. Lily Gold, and she'd say that these are the greatest songs ever because she's going to feel like they are. And you're going to be... Yeah, but wouldn't you do that with Shawn Mendes and Shinedown? No, yeah. no, no. And Harry Styles? And no. Harry Styles and his four nipples? No, because I'm oh, experienced. The first, co- the first couple times, absolutely, I was yeah. doing that. Actually, the first time I smoked weed was the night of a One Direction concert at TCF Bank Stadium. That what a sentence. out. <laughs> what a sentence. And it was phenomenal. <laughs> it was a great show. They started with oh. Clouds. An underrated <laughs> banger. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> and you were high as a kite, right? In the clouds, baby. <laughs> yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. Hmm. And then I, uh, yeah, man, that was a fun night. Gosh, dang it! <laughs> they should come back. Anyway, Please that's my back. vote. My vote is All that right. we get Marnie high at some point. Mine would be too. That would be. Fun. Yeah. I think it would be fun. I think she'd be. What if? What if? Next year, Power to Vegas. We're thinking about doing it in the fall, so we do it around football. Mm-hmm. The Vikings Good keep idea. screwing this up by having a December game in in Vegas, and now they're going to London. Right. So are we. So we might we might push yes, Vegas back to fall of twenty five. What if we market it as like, look, we're not going to watch NFL football, even though we will be. Oh yeah. What if we just spend a year and a half going, come to Vegas and get high with Marnie Gellner? That'd be great. Oh, I think we could oh, fill. Sure she'd love that. We yeah. could fill six planes. Oh, oh, yeah, she'd be oh freaked out. She would hundred percent love yeah. all that. Yeah. Actually, what we need to do is, you know, we had that after party podcast where we were all hammered. Yeah. We need one where we're all just stoned to the gills. Well, or well, we mostly <laughs> st- to stay gills sober and just see what happens turn. to Marty. <laughs> yeah, or That's we all, my vote. Or, my vote is Marty. Yeah, but the problem with. I second it. The problem <laughs> is, is when you get high for, let's say it's probably most likely Marty's first time, right? Do you really the, think so? Yeah. Yes. I mean, it's close. The second it goes the other way. And it's your first time. It's over. It's over. We'll lose her. She'll want to go back to the room or whatever. The second it goes the other way, and you've gotten high maybe ten thousand times in your life, you're like, eh, whatever. It's along for the yeah, ride. Yeah, but okay. But then it goes the wrong way. We safely get her well, back sad. to our uh, her room. I said our room. Get, get her back to her <laughs> room. Oh, maybe we're sharing. One. My God. And then, yeah. and then the rest Freudian. of us go out on the strip and gamble. <laughs> we had a science experiment with Marty. Now it's time to gamble. <laughs> yeah, getting high is sweet. Okay. But yeah. Don't do, as. I'll just speak for some people. Don't kill my buzz, man. Don't fall apart in the middle of it. All right, don't so kill my on. buzz. Stay now, in the slot. You don't want to right. get high with Marty because she might ruin your buzz. Yeah, and it's all about me. Okay. Correct. Oh. No, <laughs> but you got to stay in the slot. In the wisest. Jesus, man. So I would like to have seen you back in the 70s. Oh, oh man. My. I would have been a whole lot. Uh, no, I love Marty more than anything. Marty's an A-plus human. But anybody, like if we all, let's just say we all started getting drunk, right? And all of a sudden, Zach got way too drunk and like threw up and passed out in the middle of the casino. Hey, Tommy's not us, even here. Right. All of us would be like, <laughs> Jesus. And we'd walk yeah, away. Yeah, babysitting is tough. Correct. It's That's to my babysit point. The drunkest right, and we person. were all that good of friends but, that yeah. if one of us gets drunk, passes out in the middle of the casino, like, ah, good luck. Oh, you're on <laughs> your own. No, but like, yeah, yeah, but there would be Kings. parties that would be like, <laughs> Go oh my team. God. And we would all help and all that, but. Yeah, we're too old to be babysitting. Handle your drugs, man. It's just a drug. <laughs> yeah, that's the uh, the thesis statement of the Power Trip Morning Show. Handle your drugs. Yeah. I got a new aliner, I guess, in promo suite I'm supposed to read. Oh, no. Go to Las Vegas, Las Vegas oh, and get Lord. stoned with Marnie Gellner. KFN.com, keyword Vegas. We got to get a sponsor. <laughs> We might cultivated. Be, in 25, it'll be legal here. I wonder how that works. There we oh, go. Good we'll point. get some weed company to send Marnie to Vegas for I mean, it's free. technically legal here now, but it's you got it legal to sell it. Yeah. But you still won't be able to gamble. No. How mm. dare you? I know. Well, 
Well, that's why. Be. That's why well, when I was in one Vegas, one of those Rosie, things. Bleep one you. of those. Only one of those things ruins lives. That's why I was in Vegas last week, putting money on Morikawa for every event the rest mm-hmm. of the year because I can't make stupid bets here. No. So Morikawa for say life. For a casino, Turtle Lake, you can bet it there, and that so place whales. I already have tickets on them for all three majors the rest of the Aren't year. Aren't you going to be back to. in like a week or something? No, well, that's you. I'm. I'm. I already have ones for May because I'm not going days. back until it's June 13th, May. which is the right. day that the U.S. Open starts. Oh, I sure. So that's right. by the time I land, though, the Father's tournament day weekend, would have already yeah. started. I could have played some bets for you. Could have. I'll be there and the maybe I still before. will have you uh, yeah, play some know. extra ones. Got to have more than one ticket. Right now, I just have... Well, actually, I did put money on Oberg as well because he was... You like got 28 him. to 1. I'll give you my Wolves ticket. You can cash in for me after they win the Western. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh you I only did the Western Conference? I did. Yes. You didn't go the full thing? No. You doubt Oh, him? come on, man. We all doubt him. Uh, I put money on it. Let's go. I'd have, oh. I'd have throw, I mean, if you're uh, that win, invested in it, win now. I'd have go thrown a way. flyer. Yeah, at least if you're that I'm invested in them, either, either throw a flyer or just go all the way. Yeah. All right. They all right. might not even get out of the first round. It's possible. We'll see. Uh, do you guys like pumpkin donuts? No. Uh, sometimes. I mean, sure. Yeah. Pumpkin pie. I don't even know pumpkin. if I've had a pumpkin donut. But anyway, a 35-year-old guy in New York City went to Dunkin' Donuts, and he wanted six pumpkin donuts. He wanted them badly. That's what I want. I want six uh, donuts, half a dozen pumpkin donuts. Well, they only had five. Oh, no. And they said they weren't going to make any more. And this guy, bleeping, lost his mind. And... Uh, Screamed in the employees' faces saying, you're going to make that sixth one. They said they weren't going to, so he stormed out and then came back with a gun. Oh, I thought he was going to come back with a snake. (laughs) Nope, he had a loaded semi-automatic gun on him. He's now facing up to seven years in prison, uh, partially because he's a convicted felon who isn't allowed to have a gun. But he brought one. Uh, he has already served time twice before. Once was for attempted murder, so he probably wasn't kidding. No. He uh, just pleaded oh, guilty. He yes. won't be sentenced until July. But again, think about that. Five donuts weren't enough. So Five donuts did, was not enough. He did, wanted his sixth. Did they make the sixth donut, or did the police show up in time? The world may never know. I don't know. That's uh, that's greasy. not the way you react, No, nope. right. We eat the same way, Corey. Pumpkin donuts. Just sounds disgusting. Well, I do love me. pumpkin After bars, though. Two of yeah. them. Yeah, that's yeah. 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 Pumpkin yeah. bars are great. You're weird, man. Who? Not denying that. Because there are so many things that I like that you like that I would never touch. All oh, right. Well, we know one <laughs> of them. <laughs> <laughs> I can On say the team. same about you, Zachary. On a team. I guess it does go you. both ways. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> uh, Marky Mark Rosen, the uh, the screenwriter who wrote the movie Castaway, mm-hmm. spent a week alone Wilson. on a deserted island for the research, mm. and then a volleyball washed up on the shore, and that's where he got the idea no. for Wilson. That's wow. brilliant. Genius. That's such a good film. So good. Genius. So Frank Vesselero hated that movie. Well, well Frank sucks. Yeah, Frank's Frank, 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 Frank Davis is fun as a canker movie. Frank is awesome. He's no, a, Frank sucks. Uh, but I, I used to have that discussion with him. I said, what's, what's not to like about that movie? Yeah, it's, it's a fantastic so film. Yeah, so I, I loved it. Really well done. The end's great. Wilson. Yeah. His struggle on the island is great. His association, yeah, with the volleyball. I mean, the whole bit's on. fantastic. All right. Uh, Michael That's Douglas good. wishes that his character had been killed off in the last Ant-Man movie. He's done that's right. that's, the Ant Man movie was the beginning of the end for Marvel for a while. Was it? It's so I bad. Was, I saw the first. It's just one. terrible. I didn't know there was a second. Quantum one. Mania. Well, isn't, it basic, that what it's isn't it basically a Star Wars ripoff? Brett, know. help me out here. No I, idea. I thought there were a lot worse movies that Marvel did than it's that. It's not. Good, it's not though. good. No. no, I didn't think it was horrible, but I'm a rube for them. Yeah, so, so am I. But I, I thought it was hideous. Yeah. One That's of our favorite actors, uh, Steve right. Buscemi. Steve Buscemi oh, has joined Wednesday oh, wow. season two, but there's no word on uh, what the role is or who he's playing. But Wednesday season one was fantastic. I know I admit it. It, it felt weird. It felt like it was for 15 year old girls, but it was very good. It was yeah. fun. Uh, What's her name? Jenna Ortega was fantastic. Paris, did you watch it too? Yep. It was good. Yep. It was fun. No, yeah. I, I, I'm definitely watching uh, season I, two. I, I took a lot of heat from my daughter yep. when she walked downstairs and I was watching Wednesday alone. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, I, I had heard that from you guys it was good. So yeah, it was good. It was solid. She I was didn't fantastic. Mind it at all. Yeah. Yeah, I, I read that little tidbit about Duchemi before that he was a firefighter, went back on 9 11, went back into the. Yeah. Uh, it's an extraordinary story. Yeah. Um, what, what, my goodness. Best dude ever. Man. Wait a minute. Yeah. Say that again? 
You didn't know that? Steve Buscemi? Yeah. Yes. He was a firefighter. A yeah. volunteer firefighter? I, I think he was before he yeah, got Yeah, before famous. he got famous. Yeah. Okay, because yes. obviously he was in movies way oh, yeah, before 9-11. No, so, so, no. yes. so he was a volunteer firefighter on in 2001. He, I think he, yeah, he put his gear back on and went back into. Are you help kidding? Out. That's fantastic. Yeah. Back like three or four days after. He did. As, yeah. as soon as he could. So, oh, as yeah. soon as he could get there. Okay. And, yeah. and then. Right, uh, not at the moment. Yeah, people no. rave about how good of a dude Steve that's, Buscemi yeah. is. Seems like that's a good awesome dude. because I'm a Perry? big fan. I would love to meet him. I'm a big fan of just about everything he's done. Sleep off, Donnie. Yeah. Oh Actually, God. thinking <laughs> so about good. watching <laughs> that, uh, the, the end of the world show with him and uh, Daniel Radcliffe. Radcliffe, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just because yeah. Buscemi's in it. Yeah, man. There's, oh my, and he's, he's, so he's Nucky it. Thompson in Boardwalk Empire, yeah. which yeah. is a very, very underrated show because people just thought it was Sopranos in the 1920s mm-hmm. uh, and 30s or whatever. But um, he's also Mr. Pink. He's he'll incredible. forever be Mr. He's Pink. Donnie, and, man. And, and, and he's, he's hilarious he's in every, like everything else he does. It's Fargo. Uh, I've loved yeah. everything Fargo's that he great. does. He plays the Both. bumbling guy in... in um, Big Lebowski so well. Yeah. They shot me and never. F- yeah. <laughs> kind so of funny good. looking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he funny is. Funny looking yeah. guy. Yeah. Uh, tonight is the 22nd season finale of Family Guy. Uh, wow. Yeah, didn't Seth years. MacFarlane say the other day that they're not going to slow down? No reason well, to. Why yeah, would you? Yeah. Keep yeah, printing yeah. money. Yeah. There's some iconic, iconic TV moments from that show. Mm-hmm. It it it. There are some times where it's laugh out loud. Oh, funny. a lot of times it is. Uh, Rosie, look, we all know Caitlin Clark is changing uh, right. women's basketball right now. The viewership is through the roof. Right. Uh, we just saw a whole bunch of records broken during the NCAA tournament. We just talked about it earlier that the ratings oh. for the WNBA draft at two point four million. All the, our games were going to be sold out. Yep. The there previous be a record on the, national television. The previous record for the WNBA draft was six hundred thousand viewers. This year was two point four. Right. So she's she's breaking records. We get it. She made a lot of money uh, nil at Iowa, but as uh, most of us know, salaries in the WNBA very low. Mm-hmm. Uh, over the next four years, she'll make three hundred and thirty eight thousand dollars mm-hmm. in uh, twenty twenty four seventy six thousand. Then it goes up to seventy eight. Then it goes up to eighty five. Then it goes up to ninety seven thousand. So. She's going to make endorsement money. She's going to make a lot of... She'll make millions well, of dollars, I, but it won't be from her salary, no. correct? Check this out. This is just for perspective. Mm-hmm. Um, over the same four years, or his first four years, Victor Wembanyama is going to make $55.1 million. Right. Different game. Right. There are three NBA mascots that will make more than Caitlin Clark. No. Mascots? The Denver Nuggets mascot, Rocky the Mountain Lion... Makes six hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars a year. Come on, Harry the Hawk what? of the Atlanta Hawks makes six hundred thousand dollars a year. Justify that. And Benny the Bull makes four hundred thousand dollars a year. So that means how is the demand hello? for someone that's inside of a suit? Those right. three guys. Let's crunch make it. Those three guys make more than the three highest-paid yeah. players in the WNBA because uh, Bonner, uh, Deladon, and uh, Diggin Smith. Earn right, about right. uh, two hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars a year. Well, I think the new CBA is next year for uh, the WNBA, Mascots. and that, it, it should go up by leaps and bounds because their their gate receipts, and really between the gate receipts and the television money, will one hundred percent and rightfully so increase uh, the salaries exponentially for the women in the WNBA because it's going to be a, a wanted commodity. It is going to be. I mean, they're they're, they're going to sell out pretty much every game they play this year. And she's not the only one. I mean, I think there's there's some uh, you know, she's brought along a lot of other big names that are going to help the gate uh, at various places. I mean, it's just it's a it's, the time is here and time is now and 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 kudos for you know for the Cheryl, Cheryl Reeves for for making this happen and, and I mean and she talks about when, when Caitlin Clark talks about her basketball hero Maya Moore. She made her appearance on SNL the other night. That was terrific. Um we know the success that you know the WNBA has here in Minnesota with the four championships, and so now it's about time that the uh, the ladies get paid off. You know, it's and we get the rewards. They all need to take Caitlin Clark out to dinner, though. Yeah, one hundred percent. They definitely have to thank her because yeah. I, I know everybody. Yeah, I know everybody's saying Angel Reese matters and Paige Beckers matters. Paige Caitlin. Beckers was here before Caitlin Clark exploded. Right. right. Paige wasn't changing anything, and we all love no. Paige Beckers. This wave is 100% yes. Caitlin Clark. Oh, Caitlin. 
So yeah, yeah, uh, it, is. it it helped that we had page backers and Angel Reese, but this is a hundred percent Caitlin. Yeah, she's uh, she's Changed like the this league's like Wayne player. Gretzky. When, yeah. When, yeah. When Wayne Gretzky, the way he changed the NHL and how popular yeah. he made it right. because of how good he was, how dominant he was. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, he changed the NHL completely. Moving to California, yeah, they they literally, the NHL literally built it around. That's why the the one guy uh, that caught him, I don't know the guy's name, and I should. That caught him with an open ice hit in Vancouver uh, and mm-hmm. laid him out. Never played another really? NHL game yeah. after that. We'll because everybody, well, like, even the players. Yeah. Because of that, having this guy, marketable guy, finally in the NHL, this star that's marketable, that, that the, we, the world has never well, seen before. And he had a, he's got a good personality. Getting you know? back to our and, discussion about Tiger. He did the same yeah, thing for all, like, all the golfers. So, bow down to like, Tiger because yeah. they brought him. They brought all she, the owners. She's deservedly so. Like, right. she should have some serious respect it's the on same the way, court. It's a lot I'm not like saying the don't power compete against show. him, but certainly don't right. freaking get her yeah. off the court. P.A. Common and Barrero have all these endorsements thanks to us. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, we got six minutes oh. left here. That'll go <laughs> forever. <laughs> Oh, that's a direct quote. We are wow. the Caitlin Clark of the fan. Ooh. Oh, we have. Uh, sure. I'm just trying to. You, we only got six really? minutes. I'm just trying we to start a, fights. We, we, we got to get something going. Let's fight with somebody. <laughs> we only have six minutes, but I completely forgot about this morning that I do have yep. a PA story uh, that'll take a little bit longer. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I have video of it. It's it's an interesting story with PA. The floor is yours. Well, yeah, go ahead. Uh, so I'm going to try and get it done. Um, so, so PA. Uh, Okay, so a friend of mine, uh, a good friend of mine, his in-laws are at home. Uh, they're an older couple, and uh, his wife is there with them. And uh, this random guy comes up with a stocking hat on when it's whatever, pulled down low, uh, and have, has an interesting story about uh, his laptop pinging in their house. Uh, and... Uh, <laughs> The, uh, the the obviously the homeowners right away went away and then uh, the my, my her, her excuse me uh, her the daughter w- was like there's I've heard about this where you just then they just got home from the grocery store where where somebody follows you home from a grocery store and they'll kind of claim that just so they can kind of check out the place mm. so the, yeah. they start mm-hmm. so yeah right so they so they're nervous so so uh, you know they they call the police and and they have video on their ring camera and everything. Uh, and, um, it wasn't until after the police and, uh, later on that day that the brother came home and, and was like, you guys don't know who that is? Like, no. He's like, that's Paul Allen. Oh no. (laughs) What? (laughs) What? So then, so then he, he, and later on, he, like, he found it like a block away. I don't know if something was, was, was wrong with the map or, 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 or PA has trouble reading, uh, the little GPS thing. Uh, he finds it black and like, like kind of soon after the guy's like, oh, found it. No big deal. So like that was another thing that kind of scared them into calling the police. Wait, his PA. laptop was in some random person's it house? Wasn't. No. His, his laptop did get stolen out of his car, I believe. Okay. So that's right. So it was so, stolen. It just wasn't so in his, his house. But, his, yes. His laptop got close. stolen. Sorry. It was, I was, oh I'm trying to do an abbreviated yeah. version. Yeah. So it's a little bit longer story because of all details. Uh, but yeah, giving you uh, the cliff notes. Uh, but yeah, so his lift, laptop got stolen from his car um, at, at Jerry's, or, or uh, the, the the preserve is what we used to call Indian Prairie. But rode my bike there a million times, for God's sakes. Uh, and that's when you know this car that they noticed in the parking lot was like kind of came home with, followed them home a little bit. And that was PA. And that was PA. Oh, and they creepy. called the police. <laughs> what a story, Mark. I mean, imagine what's on that lap. I have the video. I have the video uh, of, of well, the, the ring that. cam. I have the ring cam. So to recap, yeah. his laptop gets stolen. He's got one of those air tags or something that tra- tracks it down. And he, but it, that, that is an actual well-known scam for older couples. Mm-hmm. People will follow older mm-hmm. couples home and say, oh, I yeah. think here there's something. So that's smart of them, by the way, to call the oh, police. Oh, yeah, for sure. They, 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 yeah, but the, the, the best part about it was, yeah. There we go. It was PA. The video. It's really something. Rosie, I, I knew a uh, I knew a guy who used to play cards with a guy. This is a repeat story for a long time, uh, Power Trip listeners. This is a true story. This isn't a Seinfeld bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I knew a guy who who was a limo driver, but he went to prison because his his scam was he would go to houses that he thought were empty and go up to the door, right? Pull up in his limo, go up to the right, door, right. and knock on the door to, quote, pick somebody up. Right. If they didn't answer, he'd break in. 
if they answered, he'd be like, oh, I'm here to pick up uh, Paul Lambert. And they'd be like, it's the wrong house. He'd be like, oh, sorry, my bad. Right. Out of here. Right. And he'd get back in his limo and go. Wow. That was the scam was knocking on the door. To see, yeah. Wow. To see if no one was home. Did he finally get caught? Oh, yeah. 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 How? I haven't seen that guy in Hello. Mm, ooh, 15 years. Hmm. Was Don't that know. the guy that walked down the highway without his shoes on? No, different, different, guy. different guy. That's Gamblers are uh, weird. That's the best story I have. That is the best story I have, but I can't say it on no, the air because cannot. there are racial slurs. You oh, not for me. No, yeah. no, no. But uh, well, it involves yeah. racial slurs. The, the, when you told us that story after it happened, me, Star, and Hawk were like, "What? what? Yeah, that's that was you one of Star's favorite stories. Yeah. Like, you got to tell him the story it's, about the thing that happened at the car club. It. It's crazy. I sent you three in Nordo the video." This That's is going to be great. Nordo is so excited. He's sent it to you. I, 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 I'm pretty sure I, because I, I was trying to just summarize the story, I didn't uh, ruin see? any punchliners that, that Nordo and PA will come. Send it to me directly because Nordo doesn't have an iPhone and other video looks like crap. <laughs> wow. <laughs> see Nordo. Oh, see, this is, I'm watching it right now. This is why you have, you have to have a ring cam. I'm not letting this guy in my house. Yeah. Right? Oh my God! It's Jesse guy, guy. What is it's, he it's an, on a hot day. On a hot day, he shows up wearing a winter hat, pulled down low with a t-shirt, and he's like looking at, <laughs> you're looking around like finding. <laughs> Can we share? I gotta share that. He's video. scary as I'm, hell. I'm running he? to my closet, my interior closet, closing the door, and then calling oh, the cops. He looks my. like the Lego fisherman. Hundred percent. Well played. I mean, if that—that's we talked about this yesterday. That's why you don't have windows in your front door. You yep. can't let <laughs> him have a see cam. you. I love the Denver shirt, That's though. That's the guy That's from nice. I Know What You Did Last Summer. The the guy who knocks on doors <laughs> trying to break, break into houses and steal your stuff is next. 9 to noon. Uh, Parrish will see you on Friday for initials. Yes, let's go. Good guys. Rosie, we'll see you next week. Thank you. 9 to noon next, man. To listen back to today's Power Trip Morning Show or to hear previous shows, podcast us on the iHeartRadio app or KFAN.com. KFAN Total Traffic. Good morning from the Quick Trip Traffic Center. A look at our area roadways. Pretty backed up on the... Taking out the right lane, northbound I-35, right near 280th Street, causing some problems in the area. That's traffic on the fan. It's sponsored by Farm Bureau Financial Services. At Farm Bureau Financial Services, we'll help you bundle your auto and home.